We, we only build one robot. We don't have multiple Ender bots. It's one robot, people. So, the first question I have for you guys is what is your team name, your team number, and your name? Oh, we are Team 5484 Enderbot, and we're from uh, Corning, New York. Um, yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name is Avery. My name is Derek. I'd just like to emphasize that it is it, it's this common misconception that it's Enderbots, but it's actually Enderbot. If you look in a registration, you will notice that there is no S. Awesome. We are here with Enderbot as they would like to emphasize it, to ask them some questions about their robot and about their team. So, first question for you guys. What is your favorite part about the First Tech Challenge? Well, what I think is great about the First Tech Challenge is, um, uh, you know, uh, autonomous, you know, memeing the glyph pit every time that our robot goes in. I, it, just, it just gives me joy, you know? That's my favorite part about everything, you know? Yeah. Such a great answer. You can build a robot out of literally $500 of parts and go to Worlds. And you can do this with very little manpower, unlike FRC. Unlike FRC, that is huge. I don't know, um, you guys operate on a tight budget. We would never be able to do everything in $500, but it is awesome that you can. And that, have you gone to Worlds? Oh, yeah, yeah, we went, we went twice. It was, it, was, it, it was intense both times. Yeah, it was a meme. It was exciting. It was exciting. Oh, yeah. Worlds was great, except for maybe the carpet fields. That was less great, but yeah, we don't talk great. about that. Programmers do not like um, outside factors influencing their autonomous modes. Oh, not a good idea. Hopefully Detroit this year will be better. So that kind of starts going into like what your robot is. So do you guys have a favorite part of your robot? Um, I like um, specifically uh, this piece of metal right here. It's our mechanical stop for the collector. That's the only part of the robot that I like. Everything else I strongly dislike about the robot. Wow. That's not something I've heard before. Except for maybe this. We like this because it's a... Uh, originally designed? <laughs> originally, very originally designed. Totally not borrowed from another team's CAD. But, but anyway, I'm going to talk about... I mean, I'm, I'm going to talk about another part of the robot that I really, really like, which is... Or really find interesting, which is this linear actuator that we use to go into the board, it presses down. Like it extends down to press, hold down the bouncing board. Then we dr drive up. Surprisingly, we can actually down bounce decently and I have no idea how. Oh yeah, it, it's, it's very innovative. We haven't seen anything like it and we don't think it's because it's a less efficient method of doing it. It does sound super innovative, super unique. I've never seen anything quite like that. So it's awesome to hear that you guys are being creative. Creativity is like a huge part of FTC. So, um, this is my last like official question. So, if you guys could give any piece of advice to a rookie team, what would it be? Um, uh, I think that they should um, make sure that uh, in the comments of your code, you make a drawing of Sonic with like the text things, oh, yeah. and make the name of your program Sonic Autonomous. Then you win, then Gotta you go fast. Win ESR. Gotta go fast. Then you almost win ESR, but you do that. But I'm gonna add on one. Okay, here's. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna be a little serious for this one, which is simple. Which is simple. Don't build beyond your means. Like, you can like you can build very simple robots, but if you execute them really well, you can get very far. Like, I've seen a clawbot get a full cipher and a relic and balance, and all because they did a ton of driver practice and because they made their robot super reliable. And it's just sometimes you don't have to overbuild or really overstress yourself, killing yourself trying to build an overcomplicated idea. If you just focus on something simple, but it works and do it really well, you can get really far. Yeah, that's such great advice. I know that's something that my team has definitely done too, or like struggled with actually. So like picking something simple, sticking with it and going with it all the way through the season. So my last other question, and we have, who is this here joining us? I, I'm Nico Tripani. Hi, Nico. Okay, so we've got Nico, Avery, and Derek here with us now. And you guys can all answer my very last question. What would you like to say to the unicorn? Hi. Uh, Original. I know, I know. Such creativity. Wow. Um, you are a unicorn. Again, that's like the most profound like words of wisdom I've heard spoken to the unicorn, like the entire day. 
I'd like to apologize on behalf of Corner Robotics for any previous interactions with the unicorn that may have traumatized it. I don't think that anyone from Corning has... Oh, never mind. It was the other unicorn. Um, I'm going to link the GorillaBots interview. So GorillaBots and EnderBots are sister teams, and um, they, they met one of the other unicorns. This is Aristocorn. They met Unocrates. So I think that's what he's referring to. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for your interview. Good luck today. Oh, thank you. Thank you.